Today we're going to learn the difference between superficial and deep and surrounding infection. Superficial infection is infection that is on the surface tissue of the wound and can be treated with an antimicrobial dressing. NERDS is the acronym used to determine superficial infection. NERDS stands for non-healing, exudate, red bleeding tissue, debris, and smell. A non-healing wound is a wound that is not 20 to 40 percent smaller in four weeks. An increase in bacteria can increase wound exudate. Red bleeding tissue is when the wound base is bright red and bleeds easily with gentle manipulation. Debris is the presence of discolored tissue in the wound base. This can be slough, necrotic, or non-viable tissue. Smell from the wound can be an unpleasant, sweet, or sickening smell. Three or more NERDS signs noted should be treated with a topical antimicrobial. Topical treatment includes iodine, silver, chlorhexidine, and PHMB. Next, we will look at deep and surrounding infection. Deep and surrounding infection is an infection beyond the local wound tissue, and antibiotics should be considered. STONIES is the acronym used to determine deep and surrounding infection. STONIES stands for size increase, temperature increase, probe to bone, new breakdown, arrhythmia edema, exudate, and smell. A size increase is when the longest length and the widest width are measuring larger than previous measurements. That is why we always take measurements on admission and weekly. A wound is considered to have a temperature increase when the wound is measuring five degrees more than a mirror image site. For example, if there was a wound on the top of a left hand, you would measure the wound base and you would also measure the top of the right hand where the wound would be if it was a mirror image using an infrared thermometer. You take the comparison. If there's a five degree difference, that means there is a temperature increase. OS or probe to bone is when you can visibly see the bone in the wound base, or you can take a probe and you can touch the bone. New breakdown may be in the wound base or satellite lesions around the wound. Arrhythmia or edema. Arrhythmia is red peri wound tissue. Edema is swelling in the peri wound. An increase in exudate can be caused by bacterial burden. The smell but may be unpleasant, sweet, or sickening. If you know three or more symptoms of deep infection, the doctor should be notified and an antibiotic should be considered. Now to review, NERDS stands for superficial infection. Three or more symptoms should be treated topically with an antimicrobial dressing.
Phonies stands for deep infection. Three or more symptoms of deep infection, the doctor should be notified and an antibiotic should be considered. Thank you for watching.